If you want more distance, you have to swing faster. And the way that this drill is going to work and a way to conceptualize this is to think of how you crack a whip. You start moving your hand in the direction you want the whip to go, but it's really the braking action that applies the speed and affords you the crack of the whip. We're going to do the same thing with our golf swing. Your body is going to replace the hand and be the stopping motion, and the club head would replace the end of the whip. So what we're going to do is get our body going as fast as we can, but we're going to stop it to allow the end of the whip to go as fast as possible through the hitting area. So to start, go ahead and grip the rod like you normally would, but keep it above the ground about a foot or so. Go to the top of your backswing, and what we're going to do is swing through impact into our follow through as fast as possible. But you'll notice I'm not really breaking my wrist action here. Also, pay attention to the volume and the pitch of the whoosh. The second step is to then try to bring it down to impact as fast as possible. Let me demonstrate for a couple of times. Now at this time you might be asking yourself, how does this work? As you go as fast as possible through impact, your body is doing all those things it should be doing but at a faster rate, which is creating the speed. Then we suddenly break the action which allows the club head to slingshot or whip past the body, creating more speed. It's not an easy drill to do, so if you need more assistance, please see your coach. But beyond that, whip it and whip it good. Swing better, play better. Golf Tech.